by partnering with nature, according to the company Prospectus, Zymergen would engineer microbes that could be fermented to make these products, as yeast is fermented to create bread or beer. For years, synthetic biology companies had been toiling away at the edges of science, promising that the ability to program cells would change the world as dramatically as computer engineering has. Zymergen's April IPO, along with Kinko Bioworks' larger offering five months later, marked a watershed moment for the nascent field. Just four months later, Zymergen made a stunning announcement. It reported that it would bring in $0 in product revenue for 2021 and said it expected product revenue to be immaterial for 2022 as well. It also claimed it had 10 other products in the pipeline with the next one expected to launch in 2022. In its August statement, however, Zymergen admitted that the optic film had technical issues and its rollout was delayed. Hoffman, the company's 50-year-old CEO, was out. Jay Flatley, the 68-year-old former CEO of genome sequencing giant Illumina, who had become chairman of Zymergen the day before it went public, took over as interim CEO. Zymergen's stock tanked 69% that day, wiping out nearly $2.5 billion in market value. The disclosure was shocking for a company that had raised more than $1 billion in venture funding and $530 million more in its IPO.